Hello, how are you? This is uh, Barista Bernardo Antonio, working and living in uh, Kuwait City. Today, I'm showing you a tutorial on how coffee was able to be invented even before we had the machines uh, for calibration, how the coffee was able to be done manually and how people gathered and were able to enjoy the coffee. So I'd like you to be able to enjoy uh, this tutorial, to be able to refresh our minds before I'm able to schedule for you the video that I'm going to show you about the calibration. Finally enjoy and uh, hope to see you soon in the next tutorial. For many people, the morning ritual can't be completed without a cup of coffee, sometimes maybe even two. The pick-me-up drink is enjoyed around the globe by many cultures in tons of ways. Let's take a look at how people enjoy their coffee in different parts of the world. Vietnamese egg coffee was invented in 1946 during a wartime milk shortage. Egg yolk and sweetened condensed milk are whipped together to give the coffee a thick and creamy consistency. Australians love their flat white, which is similar to a latte but smaller. Microfoam or steam milk is poured over a shot of espresso. Coffee, or South Indian filter coffee, is made by mixing hot coffee with frothed milk and boiled milk. It's served in a dabara and tumbler. The drink is poured back and forth between the two devices to thoroughly mix the ingredients and cool it down. Ethiopia is considered the birthplace of the coffee plant. Households often host coffee ceremonies three times per day. The ceremony involves making coffee from raw beans, which are roasted in a pan. After the beans are ground, they're brewed in a pot called a jabena. Once it's finished, the host pours the coffee from the jabena into small, handleless ceramic cups. In the Middle East, kahwa, or Arabic coffee, can include spices like cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, and saffron. Arabic coffee is sometimes prepared and served in a traditional coffee pot called a dala. Traditional Turkish coffee is brewed in a pan filled with hot sand. The water and ground coffee beans are put in a coffee pot called a jezve in the sand until it begins to boil and foam at the top. The heat can be adjusted by putting the coffee deeper in the sand. The Greek frappe is said to have been invented by mistake by a Nescafe representative who mixed cold water with instant coffee in a shaker after they couldn't find any hot water. The drink is made up of ice, instant coffee, water, and sugar. The popular drink is served in almost all cafes in Greece today. Espresso originated in Italy and is a classic choice for any time of the day. The coffee is brewed by using pressure to force a small amount of boiling water through finely ground coffee beans. Italy introduced the first steam pressure coffee machine, which we now know as the espresso machine. When in Sweden or Finland, try kafust, or coffee cheese. Hot coffee is poured over finished cheese curds, called le fayusto. The cheese curds soak up the coffee like bread. Irish coffee is said to have been invented in the winter of 1943 to warm up guests in the airport restaurant near Limerick. The cocktail has hot coffee, Irish whiskey, and sugar, topped with cream. Café Bonbon is a staple espresso drink in Spain. The coffee is best served in a glass cup, which allows you to see the layers of condensed milk, espresso, and crema. Café Cubano is served at all hours of the day in Cuba. The small, strong drink has espresso and demerara sugar, whipped with the first few drops of espresso to create a creamy foam. Café de Olla is a traditional Mexican specialty coffee, made with ground coffee, cinnamon, and piloncillo, or unrefined king sugar. Café de Olla is typically served in a clay mug, which is said to enhance the flavor. 
Cavezinho is a popular coffee drink in Brazil. Traditionally, it's a small cup of filtered coffee served with a lot of sugar. This is by Stantonio once again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.